Gemini, my air sign Gemini. What is up? What is good with y'all? Welcome and welcome back to the channel, gang. So let's get into this read for mid-September 2023. All right, so you got a chaser on your hands here, okay? Yeah, it says separation, heartbreak, waiting, toxic. All right, so let's get into this spread. I feel like you guys are dealing with somebody who has low self-esteem. They need validation of self-worth. This person has abandonment issues, so they may have been adopted or they may not know their family. This person may have been left by other people, abandoned by other people. Um, but I feel like you two are in separation. You two are in separation. You're withdrawn from this person. You pulled your energy back or you disconnected from each other. I feel like this person kept testing you, putting you through tests kept testing uh, the connection here and the relationship broke down i feel like there is heartbreak here attached to all of this i feel like there was a breakup between the two of you this person is suffering and grieving they're unable to move on from you even though they're separated from you you may have felt like this person did move on but they did not okay they're waiting for you they're waiting for you to take action towards them. They're holding on to hope. They're not taking action towards you because they know they broke your heart. There's a standstill between the two of you or there's just some delays here or both. But I feel like this person is, is toxic. They put you in a toxic relationship. This person is showing up in this energy as low vibrational. And this person is not good for you. I feel like they're not a good influence on your life here. Okay. It says against time. Let's move this over. What other card we have? It says closed off. Children. Forbidden fruit. Cut out. All right. So I feel like this person knows they're against time. They feel like time is running out for them. So they're planning to rush in before it's too late. They know they took a long time to come towards you, to reach out, to say something, or to commit to you. And I feel like they at least know they're walking on thin ice with you. They feel like whatever they say to you, you'll get angry. Or if they do something nice for you, you'll get angry with them. You're closed off to this person. You're emotionally unavailable. You're avoiding intimacy. And I feel like this person was causing emotional burdens for you. Okay, this person is emotionally burdened because you're closed off. And y'all have children together or there's children involved here. For some of you, this person was staying for the kids. For others of you, they may use this child as a pawn to get back together with you. This person is desiring you but dangerous. So they get pretty upset when they don't get what they want. Not socially accept acceptable. I feel like this person wants to tempt you or lure you back in to this connection. Okay, they want you to bite this forbidden fruit. But I feel like, yeah, you're cutting this person out. Or you already did this. You're cutting ties. It says in separation. You guys are leaving before it gets worse because you don't see things getting any better between you and this person. And you're just like, fuck it. I'm cutting my losses here. Okay, yeah, you're getting your revenge body on. It says looking your best. So you're looking damn good. You could be working out in the gym or at home here, okay? But you're focusing on yourself. This person sees you focusing on yourself and they feel like you're punishing them here. Let's get some more messages. It says old school. Let's move these to the side, okay? It says pregnancy, reconciliation. I don't know what that noise was just now, you guys. All right, maybe your person is the type that's a screamer. Some of y'all. Maybe they scream at you or you scream at them. I don't know. I don't know who just screamed, okay? But <laughs> I'm picking up that energy. So, let's get one more. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, I feel like whoever you're dealing with, you could be older than them. Or you're just old-fashioned, old-school. You take dating seriously. I feel like uh, spirit... Is wanting you to take things slow with this person if you do decide to let them come back in. If not, because you're cutting this person out. I feel like you take things slow when it comes to relationships or this person does. But they want to reconcile with you. They want some sort of reconciliation here. And I feel like they will return to you. They want to work things out. There is unfinished business. I feel like this person is coming towards you with flowers. 
they may have a white shirt on or you may have a black dress on for some of you okay you could be pregnant by this person this person wants to get you pregnant for others of you this is someone that you've talked about having children with and building a family with in the past all right but they're coming back to you and i feel like they want to make an extravagant gesture to you okay yeah a gesture from the heart they want to walk the talk and prove their love to you they want to make it up to you okay whatever they did to you here to cause this separation they want to make it up to you yeah this person I feel like your energy is all around them. They can't escape this connection. You guys have telepathy or telepathic um, communication. I'm also seeing this person going through some telepathic experiences here. When it comes to you, okay, this person is being haunted by your love here, Gemini. So let's see what else is coming through for my Gemini. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, heartbreak again. So... I feel like you guys were heartbroken because something you saw that was painful, heart hurting, it made you sad or you was depressed. And I feel like you were ignoring this person. You saw something on their computer, tablet, phone, or this was online. And you feel like y'all not understanding each other. You trying to get your point across. They're trying to get their point across. Y'all not understanding each other. Y'all not getting along. Y'all not talking right now because you're heartbroken. Okay. And you're ignoring them. Let's see. Oh, that card fell on the floor, so it's not meant. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you're in this energy of pampering yourself, or you will be. There's some self-love here, self-care. You're treating yourself good. You're getting your hair done, your nails done. You're taking yourself out on a date. Okay, you're enjoying your life. You're making yourself happy instead of crying and being heartbroken over this person. But this person is somebody that's going to chase you down with chaser, chaser showing up here twice. Okay, so this person's going to chase you down while y'all in separation. They're going to come to you with flowers, okay? They don't want to leave you alone. They want to be with you here, okay? But I feel like they're not going to stop. They're going to keep trying until y'all come to some sort of compromise or get back together this person may work at a club they may be a bouncer or promoter they could be a dj or they like going to the club somebody's going out having fun with their friends but they cannot wait to see you all right let's get some more messages for gemini yeah it says home so you guys are moving into a new home or you already moved into this new home. Congratulations if you did. Yeah, this person wants to move in together. They want to make it official. Okay, and I feel like you're like, no, I'm not giving you no more chances. I can't trust you. It says you hurt me time after time. Yeah, you feel like this person just kept hurting you every time you gave them another chance. They just kept doing the same thing to you and your lesson is learned. Okay. If it wasn't the same thing, it just was beginning to get very toxic. Yeah, let's see. How did this relationship become so toxic? What happened? Oh, they're getting pissed off. Get ready. There's some drama headed your way. Mm-hmm. Because somebody here is getting caught the secrets are being exposed they're guilty and i feel like there's a confession coming from this person yeah they want to move so fast towards you they want to speed things up with you they want to get back together with you they're wanting to be with you somebody needs time here okay there's no one else it says so they want to be with you and only you but we're gonna see if there is if is there a third party here spirit guys angels Thank you. That card flew. That card flew. Okay. You're starting over. You're leaving. There's too much drama. You're like, mm-mm. You won't compromise. Mm-mm. I'm out of here. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of your shit. This shit. The bullshit. I'm tired of all of this shit. It says, I'm tired of this. You won't compromise. That's what it says. So you're leaving this person behind. You're starting over this person may be trying to show off trying to show you something or try to over impress you but you're like i'm not impressed by that you're moving out this house if y'all did live together or you're moving on to someone new 
something better. Let's get some Oracle for you guys. This person may have had a workplace affair. For some of you, not all of you. That's why I said may have. Because for some of you, they didn't. And for some of you, they did. All right. And because of this, they're all fucked up in their head over you. They wishing they would have never did this. They can't stop thinking about what happened. They can't stop thinking about you. They love you here. That's what it's saying. You guys could be married or y'all talked about being married to each other back in the day. I don't know what that... I don't know what that noise is. Okay? But I feel like if you are married to them, there's mixed signals. There's mixed signals. It's like they're married to you, but they act like they don't want to be. Okay? Or they just... They don't know what they want. They're showing you mixed signals. Okay? Or this is somebody that talked about being married to you. And it's like... They're showing these mixed signals here. Somebody is banging. This person could be banging on your door or banging on something. I heard, fuck! Ooh, they know they messed up. Yeah, it says heartbreak. They broke your heart. You're fed up. You're tired of this. You're just over it. You're done with it. You're like, mm -mm, I can't take this stress. Because this person really didn't want to settle down. They really didn't want to be tied down. They wanted no strings attached. I feel like your person has a sex addiction for some of y'all. Yeah. They didn't want anything serious. That's what I see. Yeah, they were running. They were running. This person is a runner. They run from the connection. They were ignoring you in the connection. Acting like you didn't mean anything. Yeah, they was running. They were running from you. And I feel like this person was really running from themselves. This person backstabbed you. They betrayed you. They caused pain in your life. I feel like this person was cheating. They was being deceptive. There was some mind games, heck games, and love bombing. They're going to tell you all their bad news. They're going to tell you all the news that they're going through. I feel like this person is not doing good right now. If they didn't call you to express all their troubles to you, they're not doing good in their life right now. This person is actually depressed. They're depressed over this situation. They're depressed over you. Somebody may have given them bad news and they just, it's too much going on in this person's life right now all at once this person has childhood wounds so i feel like there's some bullying here this person was bullied as a child there's sexual abuse physical abuse toxic parents or this person was abandoned by their parents they may have been adopted so they don't know their families for some of you let's get some tarot okay all right four swords in the reverse if this person is around you they want to reconnect with you if they're at a distance from you they want to come back around to you Okay, yeah, the chariot, they're coming. They're wanting to take action towards you. I feel like they could be getting in their car, a train, or the bus. Yeah, but they want to move towards you. They want forward movement with you. That's what they want. Could be dealing with a cancer. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody you divorced or cut out of your life. You're showing up as the ice queen. So you definitely cut this person off, but they want to communicate with you. And I feel like you would allow this person in to bring more clarity. Yeah, I feel like you guys are standing in your truth. I feel like you are rushing in with some communication, harsh, bitter communication. You wanting to get something off of your chest. So this person, this Gemini, fellow Gemini, Libra, Aquarius wants to get something off something off of their chest this fellow gemini libra aquarius wants to get something off of their chest yeah they're taking action towards you they're coming in with the knight of swords let's see what else what else do you have for Gemini, Sun Moon Rising, North Node. Ooh, these cards almost fell. Okay. I feel like y'all had a mixed family dynamic here. There could be some money. There's some money coming towards you. Gemini. 
But I feel like this person is rushing in towards you. They want long term with you. You could be married to them. But they want stability in this relationship. They want longevity with you. But I feel like this person in the past, they left you hanging. They left you on hold. They left this relationship on hold. Things were stagnant and in limbo between the two of you. I feel like they were not taking action towards you and they weren't saying anything either. They weren't speaking and you were not speaking. Okay, I feel like you're being mysterious. You're not saying anything. You're moving in silence. You're not telling anybody your moves. You may be feeling stuck. Because if you do have feelings for this person, you're not expressing it. You're not saying anything about it. You're not showing it. Okay, but I feel like your intuition is picking up on some sort of energy here. And you're listening to that. I feel like your person's first or last initials may begin or end with B, J, I'm seeing T, W, H, S, and C. Maybe an A or a D. This person was keeping things hidden from you with the high priestess. They were keeping secrets. And I feel like this person was juggling you and another person. That's why they weren't speaking in the past. That's why they left you on hold. Let's left this relationship on hold. Is because they were juggling. They were indecisive about what they were going to do. I feel like now they want to find balance in their life here. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Oh, I'm sorry. King of Cups. This person does not wear their heart on their sleeve, but there is love here. And I feel like this person doesn't show you love like how you want them to. This could be speaking of an organization, a group, a job, or this is somebody you are in a committed relationship or married to. Yeah, this person broke your heart. I feel like you want a commitment from this King of Cups, a baby daddy. You want a commitment and they broke your heart. They broke your heart. Tell me what this person's future actions will be. They're coming towards you to talk. That's what we know. But what else? What else do you have for Gemini? Their future actions towards you is to heal this connection with you. Aquarius energy. They still have hope and faith that you two can heal things, bend things, work things out. Because they're in love with you. They're in love with you, with the lovers, okay? Gemini energy. But if this person chose someone else over you, they betrayed you. They stabbed you in the back. And I feel like this person is going to get their feelings hurt. I feel like this person is going to be backstabbed and betrayed by whoever they chose over you. Yeah, and it's going to be in the public eye. Six of Wands. This person is going to be stabbed in the back by this other person. Left for dead. Feeling completely let down in public. I feel like this person caused a painful ending between the two of you here. And you're done with them. You're moving forward here. There's um, recognition. You're getting recognition. You're getting attention. You're getting support. Okay. With the six of wands, I see success. You guys may be a public figure or in the public eye. You may have a platform. This person wants... Your attention, they miss the attention you used to give to them. And they're coming in. They want success and victory with you. They see success and victory happening here with you. Yeah, they're going to reach out to you. Page of Wands. Aries Leo Sag. But you could be holding back from this person. You're holding your energy back. You withdrew your energy. You pulled your energy back from this person. Okay. I feel like this person is finding the strength to reach out to you. To talk to you. All right. Gemini, let's get some tea and then we're going to end this read. Let's get some tea for Gemini's. I'm seeing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, <laughs> there is somebody talking shit, whether it's you or them. Somebody saying unnecessary shit behind your back. Yeah, they talking crap about you to other people, trying to make other people perceive you in a negative way. And what they're telling this person or these people is false. It's not even true. What they're telling people, they're lying on you. Yeah, air sign, another Gemini, <laughs> Libra or an Aquarius. They talking shit. 
this person is showing up in this energy as being very shady okay or they were like this in the past take it how it resonates they're giving the impression of dishonesty. You have to question this person all the time. You're suspicious of this person's activities. They're untrustworthy. You don't you don't trust them at all. Happiness is on its way to you or it's already here. I'm seeing you pleased with life and expressing gratitude to the universe. What is these two cards that came out? So you guys are not high key. You guys don't want to be in the spotlight or want attention. Some of you are in the spotlight. You're a celebrity or have celebrity status. Somebody is drawing a lot of attention, being obvious, very public because they're big mad. They're mad. They're triggered and mad as fuck about a situation or someone. Peacocks may be significant. This person is having legal issues. They're getting a lawyer. Contracts is going wrong for this person. You could be taking this person to court or they're getting sued. Yeah, this person ghosted you, not calling you, not texting you back, ignoring you. Or this is your energy. You're trying to avoid arguing with this person. You don't want to argue. You don't want to fuss. You don't want to fight with this person. You feel like it's better for you to just ignore their phone calls, their text messages, or block them. Yeah, this because this person is a chaos agent. Causing chaos or mischief for entertainment. They think it's funny. And they throw the Bible around at everybody. They may force religion on people. But someone is into their Bible, they go to church, they pay tithes. So this is your energy. You go to church, pay tithes, you're into your Bible, you read the Bible. But I feel like it's somebody around you who forced religion on people. But this person is coming back into your life. They're wanting to reconcile and I do see them gaining the strength and the courage to reach out to you, to talk to you, to give you some good news, however... You're holding back. You're holding back. I feel like you fear falling in love with this person again. That's what I feel. You guys, that is your reading. If you liked this reading, leave me a big thumbs up. If you watch this reading, like the video. If you woke up this morning and you were drawn to this message, like this reading, okay? I know this reading is posted tonight. Some of y'all may not see it till tomorrow. Like this reading, subscribe to the channel, turn your post notifications on to ALL so you won't miss any readings that I upload. I love you guys so, so much. Until next time, bye Gemini. I'll see y'all in the next reading.